In this video, we're sharing three homemade organic fertilizers that work wonders for your plants at different stages. When we sow seeds or transplant seedlings, or when our plants start flowering, it's crucial to give them the right nutrients. Many of us use the same fertilizers, but sometimes they don't do the trick. So we've got you covered. We'll show you one fertilizer for seedlings, another for when we transplant, and a special one for when our plants start flowering. And the best part, these fertilizers are effective for tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants, and nearly every vegetable in your garden. Get ready to see your garden thrive with these simple, organic solutions. During the seedling stage, we'll make rice water or diluted milk to feed our baby plants. Rice water and milk water are great for seedlings because they provide important nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, and minerals. Rice water contains nutrients from the rice grains, which can help seedlings grow strong and healthy. Milk water, when diluted, provides calcium and other nutrients that support seedling growth and strengthen their roots. Both rice water and milk water are gentle and natural, reducing the risk of burning or harming delicate seedlings. At the second stage, when we transplant our plants into the ground, we'll give them weed tea or liquid fertilizer made from weeds, leaves, or kitchen waste. To make it in a five gallon bucket, first fill the bucket with water and then add a good amount of chopped weeds, leaves, or kitchen scraps like vegetable peels. Let it sit for about a week, stirring it occasionally. This allows the nutrients from the weeds and scraps to seep into the water, creating a nutrient rich liquid fertilizer. Strain out the solid bits and the liquid left behind is your homemade weed tea fertilizer. This fertilizer is fantastic for our plants because it's packed with nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are essential for healthy plant growth. It also contains beneficial microorganisms that improve soil health and help plants absorb nutrients more efficiently. At the third stage, when our plants start to flower, we'll make yeast fertilizer in a five gallon bucket. To do this, we'll add yeast to water and then mix in some sugar, letting it sit for about two hours. This mixture will ferment and become a nutrient rich fertilizer for our flowering plants. Yeast fertilizer is beneficial for plants because it contains a high concentration of nitrogen, which is crucial for promoting healthy growth and vibrant blooms. Nitrogen is a key component of chlorophyll, the green pigment that helps plants convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. By providing our flowering plants with yeast fertilizer, we're giving them the extra nutrients they need to develop strong stems, lush foliage, and abundant flowers. So why wait? Give your plants the love and nutrients they deserve and watch them flourish. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks.